how to create a workspace which is really suitable to you in Adobe InDesign. So here I have InDesign without any tools or any workspace layout whatsoever. I've just got a page that I've done from a previous tutorial. So let's start adding some tools and start laying it out and then we're gonna save it. So first of all, the ones I use most frequent is Control, which is this top title bar here, which gives you like all the different type tools and layout tools that you're ever gonna need. The second one is one called Tools, funnily enough. And that I always fit to the left hand side and you can do it two ways. It can be as a sort of two column or a single column, up to you. Now, also if you want to have rulers or not rulers, you can do Command R and that'll give you your rulers. I always have rulers on. Okay, I'm gonna add a few more toolbars which I generally use. I think another handy one would be to start having colors. So let's have swatches. So we've now got our swatch panel. Let's just bring this over. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this um, text to image uh, straight away. So we've got our swatch panels out. A few more I'm gonna add in here is layers. So we have a layer panel. And I think links uh, is also a good one. So I'm gonna put links uh, next to layers by dragging it. And you can see this blue bar, and you can add it below and it'll do a blue bar below, or you can add it inside it. I'm gonna put it to the right of layers. So now we've got layers and links inside its own little panel. What I also want in this one is pages. So let's go window and then pages, get pages. And I'm gonna drop that in. And then what I can do is I can pull pages in between layers and links. So it's now them three together. What I want to do now is I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna put it all the way to the right of my screen. So it's just gonna be one thing that pops out to the right of my screen. And there's a blue bar that pops up. And now you can see, let's move this prop as well. Now you can see to the right of my screen, I've got this little pop out menu, which moves the entirety of my screen which I can scroll through and I've got like this kind of small workspace. Let's put swatches to the left of that. So we grab swatches and then we see the blue bar. We could put it to the left. We could even put it, we could put it above and it'll put it above the entire panel there. Or we can put it to the left, put it left that panel there. And we can you know, open and close these panels as well by clicking these little double sort of arrow signs. So we've now got these first two. Another one I quite like to use is a line. So that would be in object and layout. So I'm gonna get that. And I'm also going to put that a line up in its own one with the pathfinder. So I'm gonna pull that to the right inside there. So we've got pathfinder and a line. Now, as you can see here, you can also make it an icon or you can have it an icon with a name. I'm just gonna drag that over and it's just an icon with a name. So I've now got a small workspace that I'm building out. I'm gonna get some typography ones as well. So types and tables, I'm gonna have character, bring that out. I'm also gonna have paragraph. Hopefully that's in there as well, paragraph. I'm gonna put them two together above and below each other. Now I could have an entire paragraph style one if I wanted by going type, character styles, bring that out, paragraph styles, bring that out. It likes to pop it places I don't want. So you can just grab these and you can do, turn them off by doing the X uh, symbol. So we have paragraph styles and character styles next to each other like that. And I'm actually gonna have paragraphs and characters next to each other just like that. And then I'm gonna combine the two together like that. I'm then gonna add another one on my right hand side here. So what I'm building out is tools that I might use all the time. And I can open and close these by dragging. And whenever I need to use them, I can just pop out bits that I need, like my swatches, and then add, uh, add swatches in there. I could add gradients and strokes and also lots of other things as well. So I'm already starting to build out what's known as a workspace. Once you are happy with a workspace, I would suggest saving it. To do that, go to Window Workspaces and go down to New Workspace. I'm going to type in YouTube Workspace. 
and press OK. So if you ever get confused and you've gone onto a different workspace, for example, Essentials, and it's brought up a different workspace, you can always go back to the workspace that you've created. I've created one before, which I use all the time. But depending on which thing I'm doing within InDesign, I can change the workspace accordingly to the different jobs that I'm doing. That's how to create a workspace within InDesign is that helps you work more efficiently depending on what job you are doing. If you got something out of that tutorial, hit like, consider subscribing, and why not check out another one of my videos on screen now. Thanks for watching.